Hello, welcome to Paxton Pitts Nature Reserve, just off the A1 north of St Neots. The reserve is about 193 acres. It's a mixture of lakes, riverside, meadow, reed bed, scrub and woodland. Every springtime we're always on the lookout for the first damsel and dragon of the season, normally banded demoiselle and hairy hawker. Paxton Pits. As time goes on, more and more species emerge. Over the years we have recorded 26, although we don't get them all at the same time. The reserve is managed by Huntingdonshire District Council, with the active support of the Friends of Paxton Pits Nature Reserve and the local community. This is the meadow behind the visitor centre. The meadows are very busy with the blue damselflies for most of the season. Some days you can even walk through clouds of them. There are also regular fly paths by emperor and four spot chaser dragonflies. The lily pads on the edge of cloudy, rudd and hailing lakes are good areas for many dragons and damsels. We see lots of red-eyed damselflies in these spots. This area of bramble at the bottom end of Rudd Lake is good for all kinds of dragons and damsels. When the bramble is in flower, it is particularly popular with green-eyed and brown hawkers. This is Hailing Lake, where we have a good area of water soldier and this is where our expanding population of green-eyed hawkers emerge from. It's also a very good patch for all sorts of blue damselflies and is becoming a very nice spot for the willow emerald damselfly. The Ouse Valley Way passes through the reserve and is the best place to be inspected by a southern hawker. This patch of gravel at the back of the gully warms up quickly in the sun, which makes it a popular place for dragonflies to bask. Scarce chasers and banded demoiselle can often be spotted along the edge of the river. This pond, next to the Environmental Education Centre, is a favourite for broad-bodied and four-spot chasers, and the surrounding area is good for both common and ruddy data.